Hey, welcome to the Lynch video blog. Never thought I'd say this. I never, ever thought I'd say this, but I have to agree with what the mayor of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania has done. He has imposed a teenage curfew after 9 o'clock at night. And now before you get all up in arms and go, oh, Lynch, you wouldn't say that, you know, if you were a teenager. No, I wouldn't have said it up until a couple years ago. But I'm talking about these flash mobs. They have gotten to the point where they're completely out of control. You see more and more video of these things happening, you know, pretty much on a daily basis. The latest came in, I think it was from the Washington, D.C. area over the weekend. 35, 40 teenagers show up at a convenience store at 1.30 in the morning, ransack the place, and haul ass. Something has to be done. I mean, I, we've already gone over the subject of, well, the parents should be involved and have to, you know, be in charge of caring for their kids. Nonsense. We can argue that till we're blue in the face. We know what the realities of that situation are. Good parents are good parents. Bad parents are bad parents. And absentee parents, well, <laughs> they're absentee parents. I'm not going to get into the details of this because then I'll be labeled a racist or something, which is absolutely ridiculous. Bottom line, mayor of Philadelphia, he's had it with the flash mobs. He's imposed a curfew at 9 o'clock at night to get teenagers off the streets if they're unaccompanied by an adult. So, Bottom line here is technology, wonderful thing, but when you use it to create flash mobs to show up and ransack unsuspecting businesses, all you're doing is creating more restrictions on your own personal freedoms. The freest country in the world having to impose curfews. Like I said, normally I'd be completely against this, but teens and young people are doing this to themselves. And unfortunately, it's a small minority of them who are going to end up ruining it for a lot of people. Just a little something to think about, and it's really pathetic. On a more positive note, I've got Judas Priest tickets beat the box office. Five o'clock today, in fact, I've got them all this week as we get ready for them to come uh, on their farewell tour to Tampa on November 30th. Beat the box office, Judas Priest tickets today on JRR right around five o'clock. Have yourselves a great day.